bustling urban cities, breathtaking landscapes, zestful night markets, and a fascinating blend of modern and traditional culture, Taiwan was rightly called by the Portuguese Ilha Formosa. So it's 9.42 and we are on our way to Taipei. No, we are not on our way, we are at the airport. <laughs> we just checked in our bags and it's still early so we are gonna have dinner. Our flight is at 1 a.m. Yeah, it's at 1 a.m. So we're just gonna finish dinner. And yeah. loiter around Jewel because we have a lot of time right now it's only 10 14 so yeah the main attraction of Jewel is under maintenance so you can't really see anything I mean, there's nothing to enjoy I mean uh, between 6 Jan to 15 Jan there is no uh, what do you call this waterfall man-made waterfall it's called man waterfall. No, it's not called that. What the hell? Well, Singapore biggest waterfall. I think it's just called Indo waterfall. I think it's just called Jewel. Isn't it? Because that is the Jewel. I don't know. I think that's what I think. But yeah, it's closed. The, the main point is that it's closed from 6th Jan to 15th Jan. <laughs> short delay, we finally arrived in Taipei. Once you get out of the baggage claim, follow the signboard that says Telecommunication Services. There are several providers and plans offered to the tourists. Once we got our SIM cards, we decided to take the MRT to Taipei City. The walk from the arrival gate to the MRT is about 3 to 4 minutes. Along the way, you will notice taxi services, cafes, convenience stores, tours and travels, ATMs, and also money exchange services. Connecting Taoyuan Airport to downtown Taipei City, the airport MRT is the fastest way to reach the city. Once we reached the airport MRT station, we just couldn't figure out how to get an EasyPass MRT card from the machine. We just gave up and bought the cards from the information center that you see right next to the gantry. One thing we didn't realize when we came here for the first time was there are two types of trains that will lead you to Taipei main station. An express train and a commuter train. The purple express train takes 35 minutes to arrive at Taipei main station and only stops at five key stations, while the blue commuter train takes 50 minutes and stops at all stations. Thank you. 
What happened to your face? There is wind! Yeah, let's go. Come on, if this is cold, well, how will you do in Paris? After a chilly 10 minutes walk from the station, we reached a hotel named Roders, which is conveniently located near Ximen, Taipei Main Station, Ximen Ling Walking District, and our now favorite breakfast place. This restaurant is located just opposite to our hotel and serves simple, homemade yet delicious food. If you want to eat like the locals, this is definitely the place for you. They also have an English menu and vegetarian option. I'm not a big fan of soy milk, but I just love soy milk in Taiwan, and especially the one from this cozy restaurant. And also, this place serves the best yu tao I have ever tasted in my entire life. Next stop, a favorite place to grab coffee and undeniably one of the best cafes in Taipei City, Wilbeck Cafe. The cafe that was founded by three coffee lovers in 2009 is now extended to a group of coffee lovers that have all come together with an aim to provide coffee that won't disappoint in the midst of the hustle and bustle of the city. Do you what? I don't know. Give me a coffee. Show me a coffee. So after an awesome breakfast, we are going to Tapsui. We will spend no, sorry. Oh yeah, sorry. We are going to Beto, and, but then we'll go to Tamsui. So, is it Tamsui or is it Tamsui? I'm not sure, but we are on our way to. We are on our way to Taipei Main Station. Or? Wow, we don't know where we are going. We are, we are such amazing uh, travel couple, right? She... So we are on our way to Taipei Main Station. From there, we will directly go to uh, Beto. Once you take the Tamsui Shinmi line and alight at Beto Station, just cross over and change trains to get to Shin Beto. It's hard to miss as the train platform is beautifully decorated and provides travelers with train timings and Shinbetu area map. Even the trains are decorated with cute characters and is remodeled to look like a public park with information screens of Beto tourist sites. The train also carries maps and tourist information booklets for visitors. People usually head straight to the Beto Hot Spring Museum or Thermal Valley, but we highly recommend you take the staircase located at the right of Shinbetu station exit and check out the hot spring hand soaking pool. Yes, you can stick your hand right in the hot water. Perfect during winter. Next stop, Shinbetu Historic Station. The train station was first built during the Japanese colonial era in 1916 to facilitate easy access to Beto Hot Springs, but was dismantled in 1988 to clear the path for the current Shinbetu MRT station of the Tamsui Line. After mutual efforts of the locals and the Taiwan government, the old Shinbetu train station was finally restored to its original glory and was officially opened to the public in 2017. The restored structure has the same dimension and appearance that it had in 1937 and provides the visitors with a new window into the past through pictures and information exhibiting the history of the station and Beto. So that is it for this video. In the next video, we will be taking you to Beto Hot Spring Museum, Thermal Valley and Shilin Night Market. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe to our channel. See you in the next video. Um, it smells because it's sulfur. Am I right? Why is it because you're fat? <laughs>